Hi, this is Daryl Webster for smartstuff.co.nz and today I'm going to show you how to use the click to run Office 2013 deployment tools to download and install Office. So Office now uses click to run to stream the Office installation down to your desktop and you can install it just directly from the um, admin portal. Um, but a better way to do it, particularly for organizations with a number of users or those who are bandwidth conscious, um, can set up a deployment tool. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So to start off with, uh, you can set up a share. Now that share is going to be important. I'm just going to do this from my desktop, but you can do this from a server. Um, the share has been set up already and it's um, just pointing to a directory on my drive. And just for the sake of making this easy, I've set the permissions to everyone. So everyone can access it and, and you would adjust the permissions accordingly for your network and your security policies. So we have the share in place. Now we can download the Office Deployment Tools. So you can get the Office Deployment Tools from this location. It's a Technic article that will turn up in your Google search if um, you just do it that way. Um, down in the overview here you can go to the Download Center and quite easily download the Office Deployment Tools. Okay, So I've done that already. and I've downloaded them into this location here um, and extracted them. So this is also the place where you will be running the Office Deployment tool and configuring the XML file to do the various things that you want it to do. Now just a quick look at the XML file. I've kept an original form and yes that can scare the average user. They can look at that and go I'm not a programmer, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to just talk you through a, a few things about it. Remember I s we started off creating a share for the deployment. This is where uh, you would adjust that particular location for the share. Uh, this is the addition that you would like to download. I I'm recommending 32-bit because there's still a number of Office add-ins that um, are compiled in 32-bit and won't run with a 64-bit version of Office. This is the uh, Office SKU and uh, by default in the configuration file it also offers to download Visio Pro. Um, you can set it to update as true and also set that path to the same place where you've downloaded it as your source path. Uh, there are various other things that I'll, I'll cover a bit later and also within the blog that tell you about the display level. Um, while as an admin I could leave that turned off and it would just install in the background and people wouldn't see it. Uh, if people are doing this on their own desktops and launching it you might want to turn that on so that they do know that something is actually happening. Um, and Regardless of that you will see Office appear within your start menu in the programs pretty quickly after the launch of the Office deployment tool in the setup. Um, you could turn logging on Again, that's not so important to the average user, but it could be useful for the IT staff. And this is a good value to have that will guide it uh, through the activation process. And that is where you'll be um, getting your Office 365 account put in to verify that you are allowed to install and run Office 2013 Pro Plus. So that's the standard file. The adjusted file I've made reflects this. So I've got my computer name. I've even told which version I want to download. So um, the last time that I attempted this, uh, it, this was the version that was available. And when I run this Office deployment tool again, I expect that there'll be a new version and a new build number to be able to uh, download. Um, in fact, if you specify this build number, it will also download just that build number. So we can adjust that a bit later if, if we need to. Um, so yeah, I've explained all those other various tags and things. Um, notice for just the average user who hasn't come across um, XML tagging and and um, script, this particular part of the file means that the comment is edited. So if you want something to be actioned and want it to adjust, you do need to remove these parts of the file if you want to uh, action it within the Office deployment tool. Um, there have been people who go and fill in these bits and pieces, but nothing really happens because they haven't removed those comments. 
So that's the XML file, and we have our tools extracted in the um, what's going to be the office deployment point. So let's get this going. Um, first of all, uh, we've created that share, and this is perhaps something that you would do from another machine. We'll show you how to um, install Office 2013 using the same tool a bit later on. Um, you can map the drive, or you can just change your directory to the correct location. So let's just do that. Okay, so now we're in the correct place to run the Office Deployment tool. And away it goes, downloading the bits. Now this may take a little while depending on your bandwidth. Um, there's been a rough calculation that if you're um, running a uh, 512 KB um, connection, then um, it may take up to three hours. Um, anyone can correct me, <laughs> I'm no network expert, but um, the average business uh, with average internet, you can um, download this pretty quickly. It's a one gig build. So rather than watching the bits come down, watching paint dry, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here we have the uh, office bits that are downloaded. There's a number of different packages, and it has been all downloaded into the deployment point that we created. And if we look at those bits, follows that structure. This is the build version that I downloaded. There's another build version there I've downloaded previously, incomplete. It certainly is if it's 212 megs. 992 megs for the full build. You can wander your way through those different files if you're interested. But that is what we're going to use to deploy from another machine. Uh, so I'll be recording that next, splicing that in, and um, you'll have a look at what the experience is like for someone installing Office 2013 using click to run from a computer on the network and talking back to a network share. So, see you in a bit again.